John Wilcox is a recovering drug addict. He wasn't what you would think addiction would look like. A loving husband, father, working at a Fortune 500 company. There are a lot of us out there, more than you think. But he lost it all because of his dependency on opiates. For many, that addiction can sometimes go unnoticed because the user is either a functioning member of society or because loved ones can tend to turn a blind eye. Most people drink and drug to actually mask reality, to change it, to feel better about themselves because they've gone through things they're not happy with their life. However, experts say there are clear signs of abuse. Dr. Arwen Podesta with the Odyssey House says behavioral changes are the first red flags. You know, a loved one may be having erratic mood swings or having increased energy at times, decreased energy at times. Um, you know, nodding out in their cereal bowl is certainly one of the scary, scary signs. A user could also start to lose weight, become more isolated or secretive. For John, he dropped from being in the 200s in terms of weight to 143 pounds. I've put on like 33 pounds since I've been here, believe it or not. I was, I mean, I know, I was near death there. That's what heroin does to you. And heavy weekend users will start to complain of being sick during the week, a sign of withdrawal. So I have right here a lot of loved ones saying like, oh yeah, he was really sick like for a month every, every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Had to take off work every week because of the weekend use. Dr. Podesta says that you can literally look someone in the eyes and also tell. Those using opiates may have pinpoint pupils, so itty bitty dark pupils. And then during withdrawal, you would have the opposite. But what do you do if your loved one has these symptoms? Because you can't force them into rehab or make them get clean. Podesta suggests intervention. Find a behavioral health specialist and consult with an addiction counselor to get the ball rolling. It's tough and it really takes a family effort. You know, there are interventions for that exact reason. That's what it took for Wilcox. His family hired a private investigator to track him down and helped him get into treatment. Now he's more than three months clean and looking forward to years more away from drugs. Reporting, I'm Randy Russo, WDSU News.